Hurricane season progresses, and we've been keeping a close eye on Hurricane Raphael. It has since made landfall in western Cuba as a Category 2 hurricane, but that's not all. It is expected to be upgraded to a Category 3 later today. Raphael will continue moving northwest into the Gulf of Mexico, but meteorologists predict it will weaken between Friday and Sunday due to drier air and wind shear, which should diminish its strength as it approaches the United States. While this system poses no direct threat to our islands, we will continue to monitor it, especially for those of you with travel plans or loved ones along its path. A trough of low pressure located east of the Leeward Islands is causing disorganized showers and thunderstorms. This system is expected to move westward over the coming days, and a new low pressure area could form, possibly affecting the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Bahamas. However, it's important to note that neither of these systems poses a direct threat to Trinidad and Tobago. Closer to home, there has been an increase in moisture along with low-level convergence. So conditions today were partly cloudy, interrupted by periods of showers and a few isolated thunderstorms, particularly over the western part of Trinidad. Tonight, you can expect some improvement in the weather with mostly clear conditions interrupted by a few showers and the odd chance of the isolated thunderstorm. Tomorrow, skies will be generally cloudy with occasional breaks of sunshine. There is a low chance of heavy showers or thunderstorms in the afternoon. Over in Tobago, expect cloudy patches with breezy conditions and a medium chance of heavy showers or thunderstorms during the morning period. Beachgoers and all marinas, if you're heading out to sea, seas are slight to moderate with waves reaching 1.5 meters in open waters and below 1 meter in sheltered areas.